I want a pet. Quokka, give me Quokka as a pet. I will take good care. No, you won't. But why? Why not? They're so cute and cuddly. I will now tell you why. The reason being is because they are endangered. There's only 12,000 of them that exist in the whole entire world. They're a protective native species of Australia. It's illegal to take them outside of Australia, let alone it's literally, it's illegal to take them off of Rottnest Island. It's a national park. And there was a story a few years ago of some person trying to smuggle a quokka in a bag off the island. You can Google that. Slight correction, the quokka was taken from Adelaide Zoo. Lily the quokka was safely back in Adelaide Zoo after being taken from her enclosure and carried around in a backpack. Now, technically, there is one stipulation law where you can apply for a license in Victoria if you want to be a holder of native Australian wildlife. Hello, I saw the quokkas and I was just wondering, can I have them as a pet? Oh, they're so cute. Just to interrupt you not getting a pet quokka, what you can get instead are these amazing quokka t-shirts, quokka pillows, quokka phone cases, quokka hoodies, maybe more quokka goodies, Quokkas.co, the link is in description below. All of your Quokka merch that you didn't know was missing from your life is now right here, ready to buy. Quokkas.co. Now we can get back to them. I can't wait to have them as a pet. Yes, can I have them as a pet? I just love Quokka so much and want them in my house and want them to destroy everything. Another reason that always gets overlooked, and this goes with any animal as a pet in general all over the world, is that humans suck. We usually don't take care of the animal. We don't give it the necessary habitat, the necessary food. It usually gets depressed. Um, we're very sadistic. We can be cruel, we can be evil. Just let those animals be in the wild. If they're doing great, they're A-OK -okay out there. Just, just, yeah, you stay there and we'll watch from a distance. And we'll just come to your national park, hang out and see you in your own neighborhood, your own habitat and just kind of wave, you know? That'll be nicer than locking you in a jail and a cage and then confining you and then you just die. Mm, that's just a sucky ending. More reasons why not to have a pet quokka. Their teeth and nails are razor sharp. If they cut, they literally cut you and you will draw blood with their claws. As cute as they look. And when they bite, if they bite you, that too can just cut you deep and draw blood as well. It happened to me the first encounter four years ago. They're very family orientated. They love hanging out in their little family group. It's like mama, papa, and little baby. And they all huddle together. They sleep together. They graze together. So breaking that family apart would be very sucky and a dick move on your part if you did that. And you can't get all three as a bundle package because that's illegal too. Personality reasons, they're unpredictable. They're aggressive. As cute as they are, they can be vicious, they fight, they poop a lot, they need a huge open space to roam. You probably couldn't provide a habitat big enough and good enough for them to survive. You also need all the native plants from here and big trees and the leaves that support and just this adding up all of those necessities, those costs are going to be so how about people just continue observing and watching and hanging out with animals in the wild, not taking them home? Can we get a like for that? Yes, we can. Hit, smash, like, subscribe. Oh, you like quokkas in the wild and then you can take selfies and see them in the wild forever? Yes. I want to add something very important to this video and it's the fact that with such few quokkas that exist, like only 12,000 of them, and then little groups of 50 and 60 on the mainland, they are pretty much going to go extinct if we don't do something about this. And with all of the tourism that's now going to Rottnest Island, all of those people, ferry companies, the money is pouring in. And what are they doing for the quokkas? Okay, so let me show you all of this shrubland and in contrast, the land they're after clearing to make way for this development. All that area used to be shrubs. That, that whole contrast? That's a prime example. We're after destroying the quokkas' home. We destroy their habitat. We kick them out. And this is what happens when... <sighs> so with the more tourists, the more pressure you're putting on the environment. 
And with all those people going there, what do the Quakers get in return? Great, so some idiot drove his bicycle into this Quokka and broke his back. This is so shitty. Is there a hospital or the ranger or someone? Problem is there's no vet, so unfortunately they're probably just gonna kill him. So right here, if you can see it, his whole spine is completely snapped. And the only thing that could have done that is literally someone ramming into him. Guys, hopefully this quokka can literally be an example of tougher regulations. If a quokka literally has to die for Rottnest Island to do something. Something with conservation, something with their lives, something with actually giving them a home and a chance and being protected because this sucks. This is a shitty situation to end up right. So with that bad example, I have one request. If someone from the Australian government, from the tourism board, or someone with authority is actually watching this and has a chance to make a change, basically put more of an investment into the quokkas. They're what's bringing you the tourists in the first place. This is why everyone's going there. And what are we doing to the quokkas? We're just harming them even more. So please, let's act and do something about it. Of all the people that go to Rottnest Island, can't we create something of a community incentive? So instead of it being just like these volunteers that guide tourists, it's more so actual actions of conservation, like environment, replanting, something to actually protect the quokkas and give back to them, as opposed to building new hotels and building new restaurants and apartments and just places for people to stay, please. Let's give back to the quokkas for once.